The events of September 11th were nothing less than horrific, but they also became the impetus for a review of emergency response and evacuation procedures unlike any in recent history. Preparation for acts of terrorism gave momentum to the changes now taking place, but the truth is, evacuation is less likely to result from terrorist attack and more likely to be a response to events that occur every day due to fire, gas or chemical leaks, power failure, or natural disaster. During an emergency, evacuation assistance isn't necessarily limited to providing aid to disabled people. Assistance may become necessary because of severe injury, age, or even mental or physical distress. As a result, facility operators are recognizing the value of products that will facilitate evacuation. For over 60 years, Stryker Medical has been creating top quality, innovative products to support the delivery of medical care in hospitals and clinical settings. In 1994, that commitment grew to include emergency medical services and resulted in the development of rugged ambulance cots and stair chairs, products designed for durability, flexibility, and ease of use in emergency situations. Stryker's commitment to support emergency response is expanding yet again through the creation of an evacuation chair designed to meet the unique needs of those responsible for emergency evacuation. In fact, apartment and office building managers, school, hospital and hotel administrators, stadium directors, and virtually all multi-story facility operators will find the Stryker evacuation chair to be a valuable asset when it comes to making emergency evacuation safer and easier. The ability to evacuate safely and efficiently not only satisfies emergency response plans, but it's also central to the satisfaction of fire safety requirements and the emergency response guidelines established for people with disabilities through the Americans with Disabilities Act. That's why Stryker recommends the placement of one evacuation chair per disabled person per floor, either in close proximity to the disabled person's living or workspace, at fire exits, or in smaller facilities in the security or first aid office. We also recommend that contingency chairs be stored at specified locations to accommodate evacuation of those who might become injured or incapable of descending the stairs without assistance. Training in proper use of the striker evacuation chair is essential. However, training in proper lifting technique before use of the evacuation chair will also help to minimize the risk of injury to operators or their passengers. Proper lifting technique follows four basic guidelines. Number one, keep your hands close to your body. Number two, coordinate movements with your partner. Number three, keep your back straight and lift with your legs. And number four, avoid twisting. It's also important to always operate the evacuation chair as described in your operation and maintenance manual or in-service video. Following these basic guidelines while using the evacuation chair will help ensure smooth and controlled operation while reducing the risk of injury to you and your passenger. Stryker's evacuation chair is constructed of oversized aluminum tubing which makes it lightweight, yet durable enough to move passengers weighing as much as 500 pounds. Heavy-duty sealed casters keep dirt and grit from penetrating the wheel housing, helping to assure smooth motion. Wheel locks help keep the chair from moving when transferring a passenger or when the chair is positioned on an uneven surface. And the wheel locks can be used to prop the evacuation chair up against a vertical surface when in its upright and folded position. Non-slip hand grips molded from soft rubber provide maximum comfort for a more secure grip. Extendable head and foot and lift handles provide increased clearance for an unobstructed view of feet and steps and greater comfort. Lift handle positioning also helps distribute the passenger's weight evenly between operators for improved balance and lifting technique. And the evacuation chair also includes an extendable upper control handle for more flexibility when rolling or guiding the chair. The upper lift handle is ergonomically designed to support proper operator positioning and comfort when moving passengers downstairs.
and a convenient head support helps to secure passengers who may be semi-conscious or have compromised head control. One of the evacuation chair's most unique features is the patent-pending stair tread system that allows operators to control passenger transport downstairs without lifting, regardless of the stair configuration. To remove the evacuation chair from its storage position, simply remove the optional protective cover and lift it from the optional wall storage bracket. Unfold the chair by firmly pulling the leg frame from its locking clip. The seat lock will automatically engage, but it's important to pull up on the seat to be sure it's securely locked. Next, engage the dual rear wheel locks by pressing down on each pedal and extend the upper control handle by pulling the red release cable and extending the handle until it locks into its highest position. Again, check to be sure it is securely locked. Then place your passenger onto the evacuation chair and securely fasten the chest, lap, and ankle straps before moving your passenger. First time installation of the chest and lap straps is accomplished by simply wrapping each strap through the frame and then through the strap loop. Securing of the ankle strap requires that it be fed through the frame loop before the buckle is in place. See your operation and maintenance manual for step-by-step -step instructions. Be sure all straps are in place and firmly secured even when transporting the empty chair to minimize possible damage caused by dangling straps. Rolling transport can be easily performed by a single operator Simply release the wheel locks. The striker evacuation chair makes it possible to transport passengers through areas that would be impossible for standard wheelchairs. Durable front casters make it easy to maneuver the evacuation chair over flat surfaces just as you would a wheelchair using either the head and lift handles or the backrest tube. Manpower can be a real concern during an emergency evacuation. With the striker evacuation chair, it's less of a concern because a single operator can transport a passenger weighing up to 200 pounds downstairs. Simply roll the chair to the top of the stairs squarely and engage the stair tread. Squeeze the red track release bar against the black cross tube. Relax your grip on the release bar and forcefully pull the stair tread to the fully extended position until both sides lock securely. Always verify both sides of the stair tread are locked by trying to fold it back up. Then tilt the chair back just far enough to allow the stair tread to make contact with the floor. Maintain that angle as you guide the chair over the edge of the stairs to engage the first step and the edges of subsequent stairs. At this angle, the stair tread will maintain a steady glide down the stairs. Two operators are required to transport passengers weighing between 200 and 400 pounds downstairs. First, the foot end operator descends in front of the evacuation chair, while the head end operator again rolls the evacuation chair to the top of the stairs squarely and deploys the stair tread. The foot end operator then extends the foot end lift handles by pushing the red release button on each handle and pulling the handles out until they lock securely into position. Again, check to be sure they are locked before attempting to transport. The head end operator tilts the chair back just enough to allow the stair tread to contact the floor, and both operators guide the evacuation chair over the edge, allowing the stair tread to rest evenly across the edges of several stairs. Continue to descend by simply maintaining enough counter pressure between the head end and foot end operators to keep the treads in contact with the steps. This positioning will help assure that the passenger's weight is transferred primarily to the stair tread, while also keeping the chair from rocking as it glides down the stairs. The innovative stair tread system also provides braking force as a function of passenger weight. In fact, the heavier the passenger, the more braking force is applied. The end result is smooth, controlled, and predictable motion down the stairs. And this reclined position Close proximity to the stairs and smooth transport also enhances the passenger's sense of security. If either operator needs to pause or rest, simply tilt the chair forward enough to allow the rear wheels to rest in the crook of the stair. To continue transport, tilt the chair back and re-engage the stair tread.
At landings, the evacuation chair can simply be tilted to the upright position and rolled squarely to the edge of the next flight of stairs without adjustments or delays. Descend the next flight as you did the first. One note, liquids or debris on the stairs could affect operator footing and the stair tread's ability to make full contact with the stairs, so it's important to clear debris where possible. Consider using a second operator even if the passenger weighs less than 200 pounds, or consider using an alternate route. At ground level, again tilt the evacuation chair back to its upright position. Fold the stair tread if it's no longer needed, and check to be sure it's securely locked. The innovative design of the Stryker evacuation chair sets it apart from other evacuation chairs in that it's designed to allow operators to transport a passenger upstairs as well. Simply position the evacuation chair at the foot of the stairs, back first, and with the stair tread in its closed and locked position. Extend the head and foot end lift handles. Check to be sure the foot end lift handles are securely locked into position. Then, with the foot end operator facing the passenger, and the head end operator facing either the passenger or up the stairs, simultaneously lift the passenger, following the proper lifting guidelines described previously and proceed slowly up the stairs. When you're ready to store the evacuation chair, simply secure and tighten the restraint straps to help keep them clean and to avoid damage from dangling buckles. Squeeze the red release handle and lean the chair slightly forward to allow the front wheels to swing out of the way as you secure the leg frame in the locking clip. Return it to its optional wall storage bracket and replace the optional protective cover by slipping the bottom pocket over the wheels, wrapping the side flaps around the chair frame, pulling the top flap down between the bars of the upper control handle and attaching the Velcro strips, and attaching the red handle strip to the Velcro on the front of the cover. Stryker's evacuation chair is designed to help prevent the back strain and injuries that can occur when moving immobile people up or down stairways in emergency situations. The evacuation chair is built to withstand the rigors of heavy duty use. And you have the reputation of Stryker to stand behind the quality and performance of its products. Of course, we recommend that you read all labels and the detailed operation and maintenance manual before using the evacuation chair. We also recommend that you practice transport up and down stairs to familiarize yourself with the Stryker evacuation chair's features before using it with a real passenger. Training of personnel assigned to assist disabled people and those who will be responsible for the evacuation of people who become disabled is extremely important. Periodic exercise of those skills during fire drills, for example, will facilitate use during an emergency and help to reduce the risk of injury to operators and passengers. It's also important to assess passenger weight and operator ability when considering transport. If additional operators are needed to help transport a heavier passenger, the evacuation chair can accommodate them easily. Refer to your operation and maintenance manual for suggested placement of additional operators. If you have questions or would like more information on the Stryker Model 6253 Evacuation Chair, contact your Stryker representative at 1-800-RUGGED-6 or visit us on the web at www.ruggedcots.com.